Hey, what's up, folks? I have not played, or rather, I have not recorded any games for quite a while, and uh, just grabbed this game on sale. Figured I'd give it a shot and play it, and it seems like a good night for a horror game. So, yeah. All I know about this game is that you're a painter, and I think you're slowly going insane in your house, and all these paintings and shit are, I don't know, coming to life, or it's, it's in your head, probably. So we'll see what goes down with this. Alright, here we go. If this game doesn't scare the crap out of me, I'm going to be very disappointed. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. Oh, well, fuck you, guy. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. Punching you in the mouth? The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Finish him. Oh, I'm all wobbly. Am I drunk? Drunk again. Whoa. Uh, what the hell's Lincoln doing there? Uh, all right. <laughs> Why not? I do here. Yeah. Why is the game running kind of crappy? Oh, what do we got? Uh, is this where my balls go? One of these. One of these chastity torture devices. Alright. You don't scare me, door. Looks nice. An artist's triumph. Gallery opening wows critics. The spirit of the great Leonardo. Alright. So obviously I'm kind of a big deal. I mean, we knew that anyway. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reportedly reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act further than a prophylactic spraying. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. Carl Denton. Was this it? Uh, Legerich Morgen R2 Popeye. Popeye. What? <laughs> okay. <coughs> Can I jump? There's no jumping. Okay. <laughs> what we got here? Anything neat? I'm sorry for yesterday, you were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me, it's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth to strive for perfection. Ah, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I work on my temper, though. Promise, we'll talk later. I love you. Oh, if I hit space bar. Yep, should have done that sooner. That would have been easier.
Can't see shit! Guess that's the guy we've been... Forget about it! Guess that's the guy we've been bothering. Or rather, the company. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh. Oh, did I just set all those off? I guess I did. I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Um. Okay. Drawer opening simulator. Skip the hooch. Yes, no. All right, fine. No fun. Oh, shit. All right, wait. Before I start wandering around too much, I'm going to go in where I heard the water running. Finally, a game where the reflection kind of works. <laughs> Better than most. Below knee prosthesis. How the hell did they fuck up the length? <laughs> Alright. So, maybe I have a prosthetic leg? Yep. I had some rat poison. Uh, I'm not going to go down there quite yet. Let's go in here first. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. Um, try over here real quick. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know, gasp. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. I will open these doors, but good. All right, let's get this party started. To the cellar. Ah! <laughs> Fucking rat. Uh Port card. Excused from class. Alright. He sucks at math. Mm, mostly sucks at reading communication, sucks at reading. Sucks at science and hell. Sucks at social science. Great at art. Great at music. Good luck with that. Hey. Hey. Get the hell out of here.
What do we got here? Who keeps a collection like that in their basement? Who who does that? Dangerous people. That's who. Fucking freak shows. Hey. Can't move through there. There we go. It's so dark. Damn it. Alright. Guess that's all for the basement for now. Well, the piano stopped. Why'd the piano stop? Oh, never mind. There it is again. Piano player probably got tired. Kind of cool looking. Alrighty then. Ah! What? Oh! Oh! Okay. Fine. Someone's not a fan. What we got here? Can I read it? Can I read it? Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Oh, I'm waking that son of a bitch up. Okay. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disastrous fire. Long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department Store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. Majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits at time. Blah, blah, blah. Some, a couple people didn't escape. Those people were injured. Alright, so there was a fire. New face of music. Um... Night at the Opera becomes a night to remember. Incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist. Winning over blah blah. She was simply astounding. Um, Giles had previously made disparaging comments. Okay. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's probably about this dude's wife. What is this freak show? Ugh. Who would want to keep that picture around? Where's the light switch? Nope. Oh, nice. Open all the things. Open all the things. All right, let's get a good look at you. You uh, you've seen probably seen better days. Dude is hairy. Cool. Nice. Happy ending. Same thing on the way back. Okay. Yeah, give me that. I'm sorry I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised! My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? <laughs> I like that opening. 
I know you're going through some rough times right now, I really do. That's why I have agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place, for old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task, because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. Ha! <laughs> That's great. That's probably a reasonable reaction. <laughs> um, I kind of like it. I think you should just use it for an adult version of the story. <laughs> 